In this lesson, you will learn how to use base 10 blocks to identify a number. Let's first review the different types of base 10 blocks, and I have them over here on the upper right corner of the page. When you see a single cube, this is called a ones cube, and it represents one one. When you put 10 cubes together vertically, you make what is called a tens rod, and this represents one ten. Lastly, if you have 10 rows and 10 columns, or a 10 by 10 flat, there are 100 ones inside this grid, which means that this represents 100. Now let's practice using these blocks to identify some numbers. On the left hand side here, we have the first problem. Identify the number shown. Before we look at the model and count the different types of blocks there are, let's first draw a place value chart so we can keep track of all the digits. Let's look at the ones first. I can see one, two, three ones cubes, which means the digit here is a three. Now count the tens rods. There are one, two tens rods, so put the digit two in the tens place. And lastly, I see one hundreds flat, which means this number has one hundred. Taking this all together, the number shown in the model is 123. It has 100, two tens, and three ones. Let's try another problem together. Here's the second problem. How would you express the number 211 using base 10 blocks? Let's put the number in a place value chart, which will help us determine how many flats, rods, and cubes we need to write this number. So the first thing is, I'm going to erase this mark, so let's go step by step. Here's the digit in the rightmost position, and this is the ones digit. So I see the number one, which means this number has one, one. The place directly to the left of the ones is the tens place, and this number has one, ten. And lastly, the digit here to the left of the tens place is the hundreds place, and I see the digit two here. So now we can write out the number of flats, uh, rods, and cubes we need. So the hundreds are represent by f represented by flats, and you have the digit two here, which means you will have two flats when you go to write this number in blocks. Now, the next number here is the tens, and there is one in this place value, so you will have one rod, and lastly, I see that the ones place also has the digit one, which means you will have one cube. Two flats, one rod, one cube. Let's see that visual. Here's the model for 211. There are, let's see, one, two hundreds flats, so one, two, and there is one tens rod and one ones cube. So you have two flats, one rod, one cube, or the number 211. Now there's another way that you can show this using base 10 blocks. If you think about the fact that you have 211, and 11 can be thought of as 1, 1, I'm sorry, 1, 10 and 1, 1, or you can think of it as 11 ones. And if you think about the number as 11 ones, then when you go to model this number, you would have the two flats still for the hundreds, but instead of one rod and one cube, you would just have 11 ones. And let's see that. And here's the model with two hundreds flats and 11 ones. And notice here that there are 11 ones. And this is different than having 1, 10, and 1, 1. Only visually, though, it's still the same number. 1, 10, and 1, 1 is the same thing as 11, 1s. Thanks for watching.